Great, let's start with cookies. Easy as pie. I'll do it. I can't promise anything, but I'll try. How to deal with it? What is the circle for? Probably unnecessary details. Oh dear, what are you doing? Look at how it's supposed to be done. Roll it in smooth movements, then count out the circles and put the blanks on a baking sheet. Get into the oven, future cookies. I can't do anything. An idea. Cookies are round, right? So you can just cut a circle out of the dough and not bother. And the most important ingredient is Kittles. I don't mind having a snack with such cookies myself. You did a good job, honey. And how are my cookies? Without exaggeration, as always, perfect. I will leave no comments. Here are my cookies. This is a work of art. The master's hand is immediately visible. Just look at what an amazing gingerbread house I have. By the way, thanks for the idea. I'll decorate the roof with Skittles. Well, the final touch. Powdered sugar. And my house seems to be dusted with a snowball. I can't believe my eyes. Darling, these are not for you. Oh no! Looks like a small fire! We need to get cookies urgently! Maybe it can still be saved! Oh no! There doesn't seem to be anything to be done here! And these are cookies? I'm not sure you can eat it at all! Well, well, what do we have here? Wow! A gingerbread house! So beautiful! And so delicious! Mm. I think this house has one! Yeah! And it couldn't be otherwise. I'm a professional. <laughs> and now I want a burger. Let's and go. quickly! Okay. Yeah! I can do it. Woo! Although, maybe not. Is that my meat? Oh, what an abomination! I know. Instead of this nasty mice meat, you can use a delicious and appetizing chocolate paste. It is turning out great. Perfect. How are others doing? Such perfect buns. But you need to fry them. A rubby crust will be very useful. Hmm. What do you know about a rubby crust, Grandma? One, two, and the burger is almost done. Impressive. But the most important thing in a burger is a juicy patty. I'll borrow my meat. Thanks. And now you need to put the future patty in the pan and wait a little. My goodness! Honey, what are you up to? Calm down, Grandma. I have everything under control. I just decided to fry marshmallows and add piquancy to my burger. And now it's the turn of marmalades. Roll on top and press harder. That's the whole recipe. How do you like it? Why this rivalry if I still make the most delicious burger? Just look at these patties. I'll add more bacon. There's never too much meat. And now it remains only to lay out the vegetables and cheese in layers. I agree that one layer is very boring. But if you make a lot of layers, it'll be what you need. Yes, I'm a clear favorite here. It turned out absolutely great. Well, no, I'm not going to lose. Carefully lay out the ingredients. And now, sauces. There is no need to stint. We're doing it from the heart. What a cute <laughs> burger. A little more and I'll achieve a golden crust. Oh dear, something is not okay. Come on, Grandma, look how great I did. Ta-dum! Wow! What's the size? A three-story burger is something I want to try fast! Mmm, how juicy it is! Amazing! Now you, my friend! Oh! Everything fell apart! Okay, because there's another burger! It looks very appetizing! Let's try! Mmm, marmalade! 
and Nutella. Great, but the chef's burger wins. Congratulations! Well, you know, it's not fair anymore. This time, I want nuggets. Will you be able to do it? Easy. Okay. Grandma, wake up! Look, Jennifer wants nuggets. Okay. Oh, of course. First, you need to pour a little oil into the pen. Oh, Granny, will you share oil with me? Thanks. Strange, why isn't it pouring? Probably need to shake harder. Oh, come on! Oops. Something clearly went wrong. Oh, dear, who doesn't like that? Okay. The main thing is that it is delicious. And to make it always delicious, I cook with love. The chicken needs to be marinated. To do this, beat an egg, dip chicken pieces in it, and then roll them in crackers. Great. Now you can fry it. So delicious. Mm, and what a smell. Don't you want to try it, chef? Oh, no. I have something to do. My nuggets will be out of the highest class. They will look like pieces of gold. And of course, serving is also an art. It should be spectacular. I know. When you don't want to bother with cooking, you can take a pre-made one. I'll wrap the nuggets in cheese, and then I'll make the most delicious breadcrumbs from Cheetos. To do this, I'll beat this pack well. Honey, be careful. Not so hard. Oh, It seems to have worked. We'll see. Yes, great. Now let's add Cheetos to the nuggets and put them in the pan. I already feel this amazing taste. Don't even want to give it to the baby. I almost forgot. Well, what kind of nuggets without ketchup? Now it is perfect. Oh my gosh! How cool it looks! Are these golden nuggets? They taste the most ordinary. Okay, I'll try the next one. Yes, I like these ones much more. But there are still some left. Red ones. Great. Mmm, there's Cheetos here too. This is definitely the winner. Hooray, I'm won. Have you seen it? Have you seen it? Victory! Can you make pizza? I want it. No problem. I wouldn't mind it myself. Ah, oh, pizza. I can do that. Tomato paste is needed here. We drip a little on a piece and gently smear it with a spoon. And now the cheese. The more cheese, the tastier. And pepperoni. Um, I don't want to distract, but… Oh. Look, I'm a chef flying down! Oh, it didn't fly. Oh, no. Don't be upset, dear. Here, take a new piece. <laughs> Thanks, Grandma. Oh, I know. No boring tomato paste. But a marshmallow paste. I'll scoop up a whole spoonful, like that. And now on to pizza. And of course, Skittles. They're never extra. Well, I'm almost done. Yes, you can immediately see the hand of non-professionals. My pizza will be the healthiest. No boring white dough. I'll make it more spectacular by painting it black. Oh, just look at that. I can do more than that. And now we roll out the base. The base should be smeared with a special tomato sauce. Then the pizza will be as delicious as in the best Italian restaurants. I'll put some cheese on top. Excellent. And now it's shrimp time. And so that they're not alone, I'll add muscle girlfriends. The high cuisine dish is done. Get ready to enjoy. Oh, how long it's gonna take? Oh, I think it's done. Perfect. Let's try the pizzas. Bellissimo. Oh, so good. Oh, quite good. We'll see, we'll see. How interesting it looks. Ew, what is that? Oh, are those real mussels? I'm not gonna try it. 
But this is more interesting. Looks like Skittles. Um, it looks better than it tastes. Oh, but this pizza looks completely normal. And it smells so good. Mmm, what an amazing taste! Yes, it's the winner! Congratulations, Grandma! Oh, a well-deserved victory! My pizza was better. No comments. <laughs> what does my granddaughter want? I want ice cream. I know such a recipe. It's fried ice cream. Yes. Hmm. To get the ice cream of the desired consistency, it needs to be finely chopped into pieces. Oh, it's easy. Grandma, and I can do that too. ch fish easy as pie. Watch your nice, young lady. And don't throw food around the kitchen. Okay. That's what happens when amateurs get to work. No, that's not good. I'll make it according to the original recipe. Okay. You need to pour the milk and cream on a flat surface. Cut any berries. I have strawberries. And add to the milk base. Now you can chop everything well. When the mass hardens, you can cut it and twist it into rolls. I can do that too. Cut and twist. Nothing complicated. Now I'll put it in a glass and decorate it. I'll add whipped cream. It looks a little pale. I'll decorate it with rainbow skittles. A sugar straw for beauty and Oreo cookies. Now grandma will also cut her ice cream into pieces. Awesome! Perfect, let's put it inside. I'll pour strawberry sauce on them. Yeah. Grandma, you're doing it wrong. And the sauce is also useful to me. And also put marmalade berries on top. And I'll also put some berries. Strawberries and then blueberries. I'll decorate everything with sprinkles. Ta-dum! Perfect! Awesome! <laughs> How terrible. Here, Jane, watch and learn. You can decorate ice cream with lemon zest. The sour taste of lemon will be perfectly combined with the sweetness of ice cream. Lemon peel can be used to make an unusual decor. Yes! Add a little ice to keep the ice cream shape in longer. Wow! And for serving, as in the most expensive wow. restaurants, I will use dry ice. I'll add some smoke and put it under the lid. Perfect. Yeah. Voila. What a beauty came out from the chef. Awesome. Incredible. Yeah, grandma's ice cream doesn't look so impressive. There are so many ingredients in a cup from my sister. But let's see what kind of ice cream baby Gloria will like the most. I want this one. Mmm, there's strawberries and cream. Very tasty. Um, what a fuck. What's there? That's just what I wanted. How much smoke? Ugh. Mmm, uh, sour. It looks strange. Doesn't taste very good either. No. I choose this one. Hooray! This is mine! Grandma, Glory is asking to eat. I want a lollipop. Here's such a multicolor one. All right, all oh, right. Grandma can see well, but okay. I used to do something like that. You need to boil the caramel. To do this, take sugar and add it to the water. And now you need to stir it all the time. Do you know the recipe too, Emma? Then repeat. <laughs> They're always fighting. So it seems that nothing is complicated. Sugar and water. Put it in a saucepan. Okay. Oh. Ah Let's mix it. You need to check the temperature of the caramel before pouring into the malts. Otherwise, it may crack. Okay. Perfect. Now you can distribute it into molds. Add rainbow shades as Gloria has asked. Yeah, grandma, watch and learn. Precisely. Gloria wanted a colorful lollipop. Yes, I have a natural dye. Grandma, you're so strong! Grandma is also not capable of that. Here, now you can pour it into molds. Hey. 
I will insert the sticks before the caramel is frozen. So, the caramel has frozen. Now you can take out the lollipops. Whoa! Grandma likes it! I'll twist the caramel into one of these bundles. And now I'll twist it into a large lollipop. Just like that. Perfect. Wow! Oh, it smells like something burnt! This is my caramel! It burned down! Granddaughter, you're such a slop! What should I do? Well, I can sculpt too! My sister has jars of colorful plasticine! I'll make these sausages out of them and twist them into a thin tourniquet, as Emma did! I'll get a rainbow lollipop too! Um, it's an edible, true, but beautiful! Everything is ready. Okay. Perfect. What will you choose, Gloria? Candy from grandma? A plasticine miracle from your sister? Or candy from the chef? What? I want, I want, I want this. Mm -hmm. It looks normal. Mm, what a strange taste it has. Oh. I'll try this one. Strange, it smells like my plasticine. I'll try. Yeah, this is my plasticine. Who are my plasticine jars? Oh, what a beauty! <gasps> Very sweet and beautiful. I choose this one. Hooray! I've cooked this. And now I want to eat chips. Yeah, this is a simple dish to prepare. Sister Jane, the chef and grandma enthusiastically set to work. That's it. And now I'll cut the potatoes into thin circles. Hey, I don't have such a thing. Then what should I cut with? We need to find something suitable. Um, um. Oh, found it! My comb. What a nightmare. And what? Just look at how beautiful the slices have turned out! <laughs> no, Jane. I'll make beautiful chips. Okay. Look what kind of device I ordered for myself. With it, you can cut potatoes into spirals. Impale on sticks. And that's what will come out. Big deal. Grandma is better the old-fashioned way. Fry potatoes in a frying pan. She asked for chips, not fried potatoes. And I'll cook spirals in a dip fryer. Dip fryer? I'll do that too. Finally, everything is ready. It only remains to serve it beautifully. With paprika and salt. Granny is gonna do that too. And my trick is to pour more ketchup. All you need is salt. Here, granddaughter, eat. Grandma's chips smell so delicious. The sister chips also look good. But the chips from the chef are just gorgeous. Where should I start? What is this? So much ketchup. Jane probably cooked it. She loves ketchup. It's okay, you can eat it. Is that fried potatoes? Mm. Not at all what I wanted. Ew. Wow, how cool! Oh. They taste amazing! Delicious! I choose them! Yeah, I have a one! And now she's asking for a pile of pancakes. No question. Hey. Grandma, wake up! We need to make pancakes! Oh, oh um, I know how to do that. Grandma and Shab kneaded the dough so quickly that no one even noticed it. And now they're fine pancakes. It looks delicious, but I can do better. I'll add some food coloring to the dough. There'll be different colors. Wow, Handy decided to place the baby with something unusual. Look what a bright colored dough he has. It'll be very tasty and beautiful. Oh. oh. 
You're so sloppy, Andy. And in general, pancakes are best with some maple syrup and a piece of butter. What? This is a simple, proven over the years recipe. Pancakes with maple syrup? This will not surprise anyone. Here's a serving of pancakes from a professional. I'll need an egg for that. This recipe is called poached egg. It is necessary to boil water in a saucepan and break the egg directly into the water. And while it's cooking, I'll take slices of ham and leaves of greens. And I'll put it all beautifully between the pancakes. <laughs> it's time for the baby to appreciate the efforts of the participants of the challenge. First round, Andy. They're simply delicious, especially in combination with marshmallows. And now let's try pancakes from grandma. They look pretty simple, however very tasty. And pancakes from the chef look unusual, but the raw yolk of a poached egg is disgusting. The baby did not appreciate it. And the victory goes to Andy. Yeah, I won! Let me fix it for you. Hey. Don't touch it, grandma! Attention, everyone! The baby wants a juicy steak. Okay. No question. Grandma can do it. Are you sure? Yeah. Okay. I'll be fine. That's it. We take it and fry it. Nothing complicated. How can you fry without oil? You need to lubricate the grill pan thoroughly. Yeah! I'm going to add oil, too! Duh. Oh, Andy, don't add so much oil. And of course you should try to get oil in the pan. Now we throw a piece of meat into a frying pan and fry it. <sighs> wow! <laughs> Impressed? Come on! Absolutely! Oh, uh, I can do it, too! <laughs> of course, Andy, the main thing is not to miss the frying pan. Oh, uh, I didn't miss! <sighs> oh, young man, watch and learn! By the way, my steak is almost ready. Now you can also add some salt. <laughs> cool throw! Big deal! Hey. Grandma, look, I'm going to give you a lift now! Are you look, ready? I'm like a real chef! No! Oh no! It fell on the floor! <laughs> yes, and it collected hair and dirt, and it's also raw and undercooked. <laughs> uh, maybe she won't notice? Oh my god! Oh, you can't serve a dish like that! I don't know what to do. I'll pour more ketchup. It'll hide all the flaws. That's it. Mm, it smells great. Oh, thank you, Mia. My steak is really beautiful. It remains to add springs and rosemary as a decoration. And that's all your decoration, Grandma? I know something better. Mia knows the secret of the famous golden steak. It'll be a real golden steak like in the most expensive restaurant. Meat should be cut with a sharp knife so as not to spoil the appearance of the steak. Oh, well, that's how it is. I didn't know it. Ready? Now you can serve it. Finally, you can try the dishes. Meat with ketchup does not cause the baby's appetite. Um, just look at it. You can see the hair endured. And the golden steak. I wonder if the baby will taste it. Hmm. It seems delicious, but not impressive. Grandma's steak smells delicious, and most of all, it came to the baby's liking. Simple and no frills, but what a taste! Grandma's steak undoubtedly takes the first place! I won! Hooray! It's time to eat dessert, and the baby wants to eat… ice cream. Oh, I know the recipe's fried ice cream. Oh, grandma can make ice cream? Okay. Nothing complicated! So what is in the recipe? You need to chop it into small pieces. Okay. Hmm. How oh, beautiful! Now I'm going to chop it into pieces too! <laughs> Easy as pie! I like chopping ice cream! Oh, watch your knives, young man! And don't throw food around the kitchen! Oh, got carried away! Sorry, Grandma! <laughs> That's what happens when amateurs get to work. Meanwhile, I have already prepared everything. It remains to complete the dish with a beautiful serving. Nice. Oh, everything turned out perfectly. I'll decorate the ice cream with lemon zest. The sour taste of lemon is perfectly combined with the sweetness of ice cream. Some mint leaves and some smoke of dry ice. This is how ice cream is served in the most refined restaurants. Awesome. Just look at this. Incredible. Wow! Grandma also prepared everything. Cut and twist. Um, uh, it's not really working out. The ice cream stuck. Okay, let's just put some chocolate syrup on top. No. <laughs> That's funny. 
I'm almost done too! Nothing complicated! Now I'll put in a bowl and decorate it with whipped cream! I love it! I'll have much more for the baby! And now I'll sprinkle some Rainbow Skittles candies! A sugar straw for beauty and some Oreo cookies! Please. Grandma, will you help me? Okay, oh, thank you! Now I'm going to pour oh chocolate God. syrup! Oh, yeah. so much sugar! Oh yeah! Let's see what the baby <laughs> thinks. The colored ice cream from my brother looks incredibly beautiful. But the gorgeous presentation from the chef struck the baby more. Time to try it. A oh, lemon says it's too sour. Ice cream slices and chocolate syrup looks unappetizing, but it tastes nothing unusual. Finally, it's time to try the ice cream from the brother. Whipped cream, sugar straws, and Skittles. Incredibly delicious combination. And the winner is… Brother. Yeah! I knew it! Grandma, let me hug you! Everyone concentrate, we continue our culinary duel. The next request is a croissant. The French really like to eat croissants with coffee for breakfast. Oh, grandma, are you from France? Do you know how to cook croissants? Grandma knows everything. They can be put in the oven and let's wait for it to cook. Ah, I can do that too! One second and let's bake! Hmm, well done, yeah. grandson. I don't approve of frozen dough. Cooking it yourself is not so difficult. By the way, our chef Mia has worked in the best restaurants in Paris and knows the oldest recipe for croissants. According to the recipe, dishes were prepared for Louis himself, the king of France. Therefore, the baby is waiting for a truly royal dessert. And the brother and grandmother watch the chef actions in amazement. How deftly she kneaded the dough, laid it out in layers, and twisted it. What a skill! It remains only to put it in the oven and wait. I won't be able to cook so cool, but I'll add Nutella to my croissants. Oh, my favorite chocolate nut paste. Mmm, delicious. Oh, what kind of manners? It's time to get their croissants. Hmm, how wonderful and rosy. Andy? Look! You're on fire! Oh no! Not that! The brother got carried away with Nutella and his croissants burned down. Yes, the chocolate paste is really very tasty. Don't worry, you're doing great. Yeah, croissants are baked. It's time to start serving. I need an incision and you can pour out prepared cream. I'll add strawberries and I'll decorate the dish with powdered sugar on top. Voila! Everything is ready. Now we can try it. Burn croissants from the brother look terrible. Yeah, it's not worth trying them. Oh, what a smell! Croissants from grandma are delicious, sweet, and so nice! Our baby really liked it. Wow, strawberry, sweet cream, and delicious dough made according to the royal recipe. Without a doubt, croissants from the chef take the first place. 